Hello, uh, this is the lecture number 40 on uh, tutorial. So, whatever we learned in the last, I mean, uh, last uh, few or four lectures on this this week, uh, we are going to see some of the problems uh, which are uh, frequently asked in, uh, uh, I mean, uh, gate examination and other competitive examinations, and also some additional problems. Let us see. So, here, uh, for example, in this example if you see if an irrigation water source has a concentration of uh, sodium calcium and magnesium so 28 10 and 5 milli equivalents per liter right respectively so then the sodium absorption ratio sar sar of this water is so this is the direct formula based uh, uh, what you call the problem so, the values are uh, given so if you know the pro, uh, I mean the equation of SAR which is equal to uh, sodium uh, plus uh, divided by square root of calcium plus magnesium by 2. So, this will give a SAR value. So, the values are given uh, sodium uh, uh, milli equivalents per liter 28 uh, whereas, uh, calcium 10 and magnesium 5. So, putting all the values, the SAR value is equal to 10.22 milli equivalents per liter. Okay. So, remember this formula. So, if you uh, this is since the formula is available, you can directly put the values and get the answer. And then the example 2, which is uh, uh, given in 2008 uh, gate exam. So, a, a tile drain uh, system. Uh, draining 12 hectare of uh, uh, flows at the design capacity for 2 days in response to a storm. Okay. So, if the system is designed using a drainage coefficient of 1.2 centimeter. So, remember the drainage coefficient is the depth of uh, water being drained from a particular area during uh, 24 hours. Okay. So, the amount of water removed from the drainage area during 2 days. right? So, for one day the drainage coefficient that is 1.25 centimeter a day. right? So, this is uh, the drainage coefficient of the particular area. So, that means, if you have an area, so this uh, results the 1.25 centimeter per day. So, in 2 days how much? So, right? so uh, area is given 12 hectares, so 12 into 10 power 4 meter square a drainage coefficient 1.25 uh, centimeter. So, drainage coefficient is equal to q by a right. So, the discharge we need to find out what is the discharge. So, the q we do not know and this is known. Okay. Uh, so, knowing this and this you have to find out q. So, drainage coefficient for uh, 0 0.0125 q by uh, area is uh, given. right? And then, so that that will give 1500. Okay, so the Q is equal to 1500 meter cube per day. Uh, but for two days, this is uh, 3000 meter cube in two days. So then the example three. So the soil has a field capacity 25 percent, right? So this is FC and permanent wilting point. So, that is uh, permanent wilting point which is 11 percent and apparent specific gravity right specific gravity as g. So, which is equal to 1.6 the irrigation is applied after depletion of 40 percent is of available moisture. So, the available moisture so that is uh, field capacity minus permanent wilting point. So, that will give the available moisture and to crop with the root zone depth of 600 mm. So, electrical conductivity of saturated extract of the soil is 10 millimole per centimeter uh, and that of irrigation water is 2.5 millimole per centimeter. So, determine the leaching requirement and the total depth of irrigation. So, so what is the leaching requirement uh, and the total depth of irrigation for this situation. So, here this is the deficit uh, irrigation uh, case. So, the field capacity is given 25 percent, permanent wilting point 11 percent and S g that is a specific gravity 1.6 percent. Okay. 
So, uh, and then then next is so you estimate the available uh, moisture content. Okay, so the root zone depth is given 600 mm. Electrical conductivity of saturated uh, saturation extract of soil. That means so the what is the salinity level in the soil, and then uh, uh, irrigation water electrical conductivity that is 2.5 millimole per centimeter. Okay, so the moisture content at the time of irrigation. So that means field capacity minus permeant wilting point and depletion. So this is uh, when the situation occurs at this water level. Then you are going to irrigate. Okay, the moisture content at the time of irrigation, which is equal to uh, field capacity minus permanent wilting point, and multiplied by 40% depletion. So that will be 19.4%. So, so when the moisture content uh, depletes from 45 to 19.4 percent. So, then you are going to irrigate. So, then irrigation is given. Okay. So, then irrigation requirement which is equal to. So, this is permanent wilting point uh, sorry uh, this is available water multiplied by S g multiplied by root zone by 100. So, that will be irrigation uh, requirement. So, here so, it is not uh, basically permanent building point. So, this should be your available I mean the moisture I mean threshold moisture content at 19.4. So, at this point you are going to irrigate so, like 25 minus uh, 19.4 into root zone uh, sorry root zone depth and then uh, S g specific gravity by 100 will give the irrigation requirement. So, that means irrigation water depth of irrigation water. So, that will be so irrigation requirement is uh, 0 0.05376 meters. Okay. So, then leaching requirement which is equal to E c i w by 5 into E c e w minus E c i w. So, this is the formula for irrigation requirement uh, sorry leaching requirement. So, leaching requirement so it is a 2.5 uh, uh, for uh, irrigation water it is given uh, and then uh, uh, this is millimole per second uh, and then 5 for uh, 5 is a multiply multiplication and E c E w 10 and E c I w 2.5 and it, it gives a leaching requirement as 0 0.053 and depth of water applied. So, there is a formula for uh, depth of water applied is equal to irrigation requirement divided by 1 minus L r leaching requirement. So, we know irrigation requirement and uh, and 1 minus 0 0.053. So, this will give 5.68 centimeter depth of water applied. Okay. Okay, now, example 4. So, here uh, there is an agriculture soil contains 47 percent pore space. The moisture content after gravity drainage is 39 percent. Okay. So, initially it is a 47 point pore, pore space then after gravity drainage 39 percent. So, that means by uh, this is by volume uh, find the void ratio drainable porosity and drainable water volume from a 20 meter by 20 meter plot having 1 meter root zone depth. Okay. So, in this uh, so 47 pore space is given then moisture content after gravity drainage is 39 percent that means this is field capacity level. Uh, void ratio and drainable porosity and drainable water volume. So, void ratio is volume of void divided by volume of solids that give the volume ra uh, void ratio and drainable porosity. So, drainable porosity is the water which is uh, uh, drain drain water per unit depleted in um, the unit depletion depletion in uh, a water table. Okay, so the volume of void 47 percent, 39 percent. Once the gravity is done, so water retain, retain, water, soil water retains 39 percent. We know so the void ratio is equal to volume of void and volume of solid. Uh, volume of void uh, this volume of solids can be written as 100 minus volume of voids. So, 47 percent is given divided by 100 minus 47 will give 0 0.886 is the uh, void ratio. 
and then so next is the drainable porosity so which is the total porosity minus water content after gravity drainage so this is another uh, formula that is a 47 minus 39 uh, 8% okay and uh, drainable water volume so drainable porosity into drainable soil volume so drainable porosity 8% so that is here and drainable soil volumes so that will be the 20 into 15 this is uh, called area and uh, and the and the depth is 1 meter so the total is the 24 uh, meter cube is the drainable water volume okay so the fifth example here so the runoff water from the watershed enters into the drainage area of 5 5 for 5 hours at the rate of 24 meter cube per second so the total rainfall during 24 hour period is 10 centimeter and infiltration during the same period is 2 centimeter so if the total drainage area is 500 hectare and the crop can tolerate ponding of 14 centimeter so calculate the drainage coefficient of the land so in this uh, example so there is a there is a land here right and this is of course uh, the drainage area okay so in this land you got a precipitation and also you got infiltration and this runoff okay so here uh, uh, 24 meter cube per so the runoff from the watershed enters into the drainage area of for 5 hours at the rate 24 meter cube per second so so the from from this area so there is a 24 meter cube per second uh, drainage water is taking place into the drainage area and then uh, and the rainfall 24 hours is uh, 10 centimeter this is 10 centimeter in one day at the same time 2 centimeter is uh, I mean filtrating down if the total drainage area is 500 hectares so this is 500 hectares okay and the crop tolerance ponding 14 centimeter uh, calculate the drainage coefficient of the land so let us see uh, how so the total volume entering the area in 5 hours is 5 multiplied by 3600 that is in seconds and 24 meter cube per uh, second so that will give the 40 uh, 4 lakh 32000 meter cube and this is equivalent to your depth so that means uh, volume divided by area so you get this is the depth of water which is going as a drainage and uh, the total depth input in the area so 10 is the uh, rainfall infiltration right so this is in 24 hours uh, runoff to the drainage area and then 8.64 is the usual drainage 8.64 so the total will be 16.64 centimeter uh, going into the um, drainage going as drainage and then so therefore the depth of water to be removed because the total is 16.64 right uh, the depth of water but 14 centimeters depth of ponding is allowed so so that that means so 16.64 minus 14 that will be 2. Point 64 centimeters. So, this is the drainage coefficient of the land because this is in 24 hours. So, the depth 2.64 uh, we are allowing if you can allow uh, I, I, I mean I mean if you can drain 2.64 centimeter from that area in 24 hours. So, that is sufficient for uh, growing the crops. Okay. So, uh, so with this, these examples, uh, we finished the tutorial for this week. So, we in this week we cover the uh, soil salinity, and then uh, sodicity, okay, and then the third a uh, third lecture on uh, the drainage agricultural drainage concept, okay, uh, and then the agricultural uh, drainage the introduction okay so 
and then the tutorial today's tutorial. So, in the next uh, uh, week we are going to focus on uh, the drainage uh, design both surface and subsurface drainage okay. and then uh, uh, the tutorials and the case studies. So, all will be uh, coming up. Yeah. Thank you.